Fidel, what do you think is the first step for a seed? Ah, he said distribute. Is, is that what you said? Distribute? Raise your hand if you distributed. Uh, the answer is incorrect. The reason why you can't uh, distribute is because you're working on one side, which is simplified, and you would actually have to go in these orders. Then you would have to kind of expand this, x minus 1, x minus 1, use the box or foil, then multiply by 3. Does that make sense why you don't distribute the 3? That's your guys' natural instinct because you just see it. All right, Fidel, what else? Give you a hint. We're going in this direction. Fidel, let me ask you some questions. Is there any addition or subtraction? But look, look where I'm look where my pen is. Is there any in behind it or in front of it? No, there's no numbers, right? Is there any multiplication or division? Yeah, there's the three there. Fidel, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Raise your hand if you said divide by three first. Okay, so that's the answer. Go with my line, line of questioning. I asked if there was any addition or subtraction in front or behind. There is none. So now we're going to do multiplication and division. We're going to divide both sides by 3. Class 48 divided by 3. 16. Class, I'm canceling here. What does canceling equal? 1. So I'm left with just x minus 1 parentheses squared. Partner A, tell partner B what's the next step. Raise it up. Ariana, what's the next step? Natalie R, what's the next step? Ariana, what's the next step? It's correct. Natalie, what's the next step? What is it? We need to take the square root of both sides. Okay. How do you know this first step above was correct? Anytime they're giving you the square root, most likely it's nice that they just make it a perfect square. What is a perfect square? Class, what are the two identical numbers that multiply to be 16? Okay. This is the reason why they call it square and square roots. Ready? It's essentially saying there's a box and there has to be equal amount of numbers on each side. Does that make sense? And how many squares are there? 16. That's why they say 16 is a perfect square because it's 4 by 4. Now, class, you know I'm not going to write just 4 here. What do I write? Plus or minus 4. Again, the reason why you have to do that is because you're using a square root and an equation. And in the previous example, we had stated that um, you're thinking of the two numbers. Essentially, this is what it is. You have to pick a number for x, and there's two numbers in here. So when you subtract it and then square it, it equals 16. So remember, what algebra is doing is we're working reverse. Let's finish the problem, and you'll see why you have to do both. Um, partner B, tell partner A what's the next step, and where do you place it? Ten seconds. Ready, set, go. Ashley, what's the next step? You are correct. So what do I do over here? Feel free to use the chart. Ashley, if I ask you, what is this math symbol here? What's the opposite of subtracting? So let's add 1. Here's my question, Ashley. Where do you put the plus 1? 
Do you put it to the left of the plus or minus or over here to the right of the 4? To the left is correct. 1 plus 1 plus or minus 4. So this will equal 0. You're left with x equals. I have 1 plus 4. You can use your finger. Class, what's 1 plus 4? In class, what is 1 minus 4? Negative 3 is correct. This is what would happen if you only said, Mr. Ng, the answer is square root of 16 is just positive 4. Okay? You are essentially saying there's only one number in here that works, which is 5. Class, what's 5 minus 1? 4 squared is 16. But there's how many solutions? 2. Two. Negative 3. Class, what's negative 3 minus 1? Two. Negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 4? 16. Does that make sense? And here, here's a visual. This is why it works. This one? Here's a visual of what we're doing. We've been learning about quadratics, and basically what it's saying is that the graph crosses at 5 and negative 3. So essentially, that all we're doing here for the next couple of days here is figuring out where does it cross the x-axis. Okay, That's the reason why you have to have two solutions, unless it's a, a double root. In this, most of the case, it's not.